welcome back. Today we're going to talk about all the hobby noise surrounding, surprise, surprise, the brand new sets of Stellar Crown and Surging Spark. And to be honest with you, I'm probably just going to save this video and in like three to six months, I'm going to come in and edit out those two names and then I'm going to just continue to use this every like three to six months. I'm just going to re-upload this every three to six months with new sets. I'm just going to edit out like just those two names and uh, I'm just going to have endless content. And hopefully... This helps a lot of you that are still newer to the hobby because I understand you're wrapped up in the news cycle. And if you know anything about life, the worst thing you can do is get wrapped up in the news cycle. It gets you way too over emotional. It makes you make rash decisions and it gives you a warped view of reality. If you're wrapped up in the you know local news cycle, the political news, the Pokemon news, it's not good for anyone. All right. Because it's not how real life is. Okay? They're trying to get views. They are trying to play with your emotions to get you to interact with the chats and the comment sessions, and they do a very good job of it. But understand, all of this news is near meaningless and irrelevant in the long term of this hobby, and I'll explain that to you today. So, first and foremost, the thing you guys have to realize is most people in this hobby are new. And what I mean by that the majority of people only stay in these hobbies for 12 to 24 months on average. Anyone who's been in this hobby long enough can tell you that. If they're a content creator, a business, a long-term collector, they'll tell you, yeah, you know, the majority of people end up falling off after usually two years. And it's not that they sell off everything and quit, but they usually, you know, stop watching as much content, stop paying attention to the market, stop buying, you know, kind of, you know, go do other things in life, have other life events happen. Maybe they come back at some point. Maybe they do sell everything off. But I can tell you this firsthand. If you go back to my channel over two years, very few of the people that used to watch me, some of my, my biggest fans, right, comment every video, reach out to me, we talk. You don't even hear from them anymore. You don't even see them. You don't see them anywhere else on YouTube, anywhere else in Pokemon, and they're basically gone, right? And my, my audience is almost 100% flipped over from, you know, two to three years ago. And it's nothing to do with me. Other people go through the same thing. It's the fact that this hobby continues to roll over every about 12 to 24 months because people just don't have the attention span to stay in as long as, you know, they act like they're going to. And the issue with this is, all right, I'm going to bring it, bring it home here. The issue is you're going around watching all these other YouTubers. You don't just watch me. And you're scrolling Instagram and watching content everywhere, okay? And those people, the people making that content, they're doing their job. They're following the news cycle. They're telling you what's coming out. They're getting you all amped up one way or another, positive or negative, you know, talking to, giving their takes on the, on the new cards, the new sets, whatever it may be. And then you're looking at their comment sections. And you're, you know, reading the discords. And you're reading the reddits. The only issue is the majority, I just told you, of everyone in those comments and reddits and discords are new. And they don't have a clue what they're talking about. So now you are taking advice from a bunch of people who are just regurgitating whatever everyone else is saying in the news cycle, and they have no clue what they're doing. You're getting the worst possible advice imaginable. It'd be like you walking into a commercial gym and just like going up to a bunch of random people and ask how to work out. If you don't know, if you haven't been to a gym before, most people have no clue what they're doing. They have no clue how to work out, no clue how to use the equipment correctly, no clue how to diet, no clue how anything. They just kind of stumble in there and pay their fee and they're just like, oh, I'm here. I should just look around and see what everyone else is doing. Oh, he did that. I guess I'll try to do that. And it's hilarious. And the same thing happens in Pokemon. And so understand that first and foremost, right? Getting all this advice from people like in comments and discords and reddits and things, uh, worst possible decision you could possibly make. It's going to give you a warped view. And what, what else it does, it gives people a warped view of the masses. They think that's the masses. They think these people who spend their time commenting on videos and Discord groups and Reddit all day is the hobby. That is the worst mistake you'll ever make in your life. That's not the hobby, right? I am irrelevant in this hobby. I'm very clear about, I understand my place. Um, some content creators, they may need a little, <laughs> they may need a little understanding of how important they actually are, but I understand how insignificant most of us are and insignificant. If I comment or I talk in a discord or Reddit or anyone else does, I understand how insignificant that is. Cause here's the thing. All that matters is what the actual masses do, right? The millions and millions and tens of millions of casual collectors who just like to collect and open the packs and play the game and trade the cards. That's what matters, okay? And this is why you see such a huge disconnect and people get things so wrong like we saw with Twilight Masquerade, okay? Let me throw something else at you. 
these people that are reaching out to me already based on some stupid videos that are out there, right? Alex, uh, you think uh, Stellar Crown is the next Obsidian Flames? No, I don't. That's ridiculous. I've never heard anything dumber. Um, Alex, are you canceling your pre-orders for Surging Spark? Did you see the leaks? No, I don't look at leaks. I don't give a crap. Well, Alex, you know, this they put this Pokemon in the set. They should have put this Pokemon, and this is an SIR. They should have made this an IR and that an SIR. And I'm like, okay, great. What do you want me to do about it? Well, I just think, I, I mean, I think I'm going to cancel. Go for it. Or are you going to? No. No, I'm not. And so I'm going to explain to you something. Can we all agree Darkness of Blaze was pretty much seen as one of the worst sets in the era? Agreed? Great. Other than Evolving Skies, it's an outlier. Can we all agree everyone was hyped on Brilliant Stars when it came out? You know you were. Don't lie to me. If you were around in the hobby, everyone was hyped on Brilliant Stars. Do you know what the difference between Darkness of Blaze and Brilliant Stars booster boxes are right now? About $30. This is about 150s. This is in the 180s. About $30 picking one of the worst sets to one of the better sets. That's it. But at the time, if you go back and look at all the videos, everyone's so emotional everywhere you go. The videos, the comment sections. Oh, no, don't do our darkness blaze. You're going to lose all your money. Get really stars. You're going to be a millionaire. Guys, it's not that important. It's not that serious, right? And fortunately, I know the voice of reason It's not the... It's not the popular thing to be. It's boring. People don't like boring. People need excitement. And unfortunately, talking like this is boring, but Stellar Crown, probably going to be a mid-range set. Not, I don't think it's going to be the craziest set. Don't think it's going to be the worst. It'll probably be mid-range, and it'll probably you know end up being what Silver Tempest, Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Fusion, and Chilling are. Somewhere in that range, right? And Sergi Sparks, probably going to be the same way. Maybe it's more on the more on the upper you know scale. Maybe it's a Lost Origin, something like that. And... Um, I think people get too wrapped up in the news cycles and the opinions of everyone online that, again, don't know what they're talking about, and they they make decisions based on these things. Like, it's okay to watch content and be entertained, and, and if you, you're bored, you want to get in these discords and, and reddits and then screw with people and just kind of go back and forth and have these little arguments about a hobby, great. That's, that's fun. That's what life's all about, right? Let's all hang out and have a good time. But... The moment you start making like investment decisions or like decisions on how you're navigating the hobby based on what people are saying online, it's the stupidest thing you can do. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm not calling you stupid, but it's the stupidest thing you can do. Do you really think if you go to a few investment channels and they all agree and say the same thing that that's like the, they're, they're God, like they're going to control the price of the thing on the hobby? No! doesn't matter because what's, what's funny is most people just regurgitate what they heard somewhere else. They go, they, they scroll, they, they watch other videos. They're like, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I'm going to make a video doing the same thing, but I'm going to make a better thumbnail, a better title, and I'm going to explain it in a better way. And then, then people will try to just like one-up each other, but they're all saying the same thing. They're saying the same freaking thing, and it gets so convoluted and so boring that, you know, it's just like, I don't care. And people always ask me, Alex, why don't you care? Why don't you look forward to the sets? Why don't you even know what's in Stellar Crown yet? Haven't even looked at Stellar Crown, by the way. Haven't even looked at it. When I start getting my product next week, I'll look at it before I open it. Um, and they're like, Alex, have you seen the leaks for, for Surging Spark? Nope, don't care. I don't care because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Guess what? Knowing what was in any one of these sets, right, any one of them before I bought it, it still didn't change that I was going to buy the set and invest in it because over the long term, I couldn't have told you how this was going to turn out. Right? I couldn't have told you Obsidian Flames would be outperforming Paradox Rift and, Twi and Temporal Forces and SV Base. I couldn't have told you Twilight Masquerade would be performing almost as good or actually better than in the time frame than Paladia Evolved and all the other sets. Right? I couldn't have told you that. I couldn't have told you a lot of things in Sword and Shield or Sun and Moon or XY. And so, why would I think I could predict exactly how every set's going to do in Scarlet Violet era? And anyone who says they can or thinks they can, you're out of your mind. You haven't been in the hobby long enough to get your ass handed to you enough times to say, you know what? I really can't predict this stuff. The one thing I can predict is that sealed booster boxes, they go up over time based on scarcity. And that's the last thing I wanted to talk about. People need to understand how this works over time, okay? If you guys don't remember, if you've been in the hobby long enough, you remember Sword and Shield era was the most goaded era ever to be released. No one disagreed with that. Very few. And everyone agreed this was going to be the one era to invest in. If you're going to invest in anything, you got to buy Sword and Shield, leave Scarlet Violet, forget about everything else. This is going to be the best era ever. Seemingly overnight, a switch flipped, and no one really cares as much about a Sword and Shield anymore. I'm getting people offering me tons of these boxes for like 75% 
of the market price just to get out of them because they want to put money into Scarlet Violet now, okay? And here's what happens, okay? People always say, Alex, how do these things continue to rise over time? It's got to end eventually. Eventually, there's going to be too many people doing this and holding long term that it's not going to work. That's, the, that's where people don't understand. No one's holding long term. No one. Very, very few. People think they're holding long term. But then as soon as two, three years comes along and their box is worth, you know, $200, $250, they immediately dump it. They want to got I got profits, I gotta move to something else. They're just longer term flippers, really, right? And so what happens is those boxes get sold, they take their profits, they move it into something else, and those boxes either go to pack breakers, maybe some long-term collectors, investors, but mostly they work their way up to the top, like all the money does in real life. It all finds its way up to the top right up to the main whales of the hobby and guess what the whales do they don't freaking sell they never sell they don't care if your box goes to two three five seven a thousand dollars they don't care they're holding the freaking boxes and this is what pisses everyone off however what it does it removes supply from the market it's not even listed you won't find it on tcg player or ebay so it's not like looking at what the lowest list is or last sold is they don't care and so what happens is this happens a few times, right? It happens when it first moves into the higher hundreds, two hundreds. It'll happen to the next move when things move into the threes and fours. And it'll happen the third time when it moves over $500, whatever it may be. And eventually almost all that product disappears. And the only people that own it are the whales. And then people want to say, how did this get so scarce? How is that box $800? Doesn't make sense. And then all of a sudden one will sell it. Like who paid that? That's got to be a fake sale. And another one will sell it. Be like, People are really paying $800? Well, okay, maybe I'll sell one of mine. And it sells. You're like, wow, I, I can't believe this stuff sells in the future. I thought no one would want this stuff. or it would, It's so plentiful and overprinted that it would never rise. I, I can't believe it. And it happens time and time again. And what happens is all the whales have all the product and all the money. And they don't care about all your market noise. They don't care how good or bad of a set it was. All they care is about acquiring all of it to reduce all the supply from the market. And then the market rises on scarcity. And that's how sealed product gains its value because people don't think that far ahead. All they think about is making a quick buck. You have people dumping Lost Origin and Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain right now because it's over $200 a box. Trust me, in my own Discord, my own Patreon Discord, people are talking about already dumping their Sword and Shield and moving into Scarlet and Violet, okay? And anyone who is buying the Sword and Shield, again, if it's not a pack breaker or a whale, they're probably going to sell if it doubles again and goes to three, four hundred dollars, right? And that'll happen enough times until most no one has the boxes except like maybe longer term collectors or the investors that can stand this time that can uh, hold when everyone else is selling that don't need the money. But most of the product, like 90 percent of it, will make it to the whales that will never sell it. Right. And you say, well, Alex, they got to make the money eventually. They don't really. They could just pass it on to their kids. Hey, guys, when you have that much money, that much wealth, you have that much income already, you don't need to sell your investments for income, right? That's why people hold their, their stocks and things forever and they'll just pass their stocks on to their kids and things like that because they don't need to sell it. They just need to can you acquire it and build wealth based on that. I mean, put it this way. If you had an income of whatever the crazy income is to you, 250 grand a year, 500 grand a year, a million a year, do you, would you care about selling your investments just because they went up? Why, why would you need to do that? You're making another million dollars next year. And then the year after that, and the year after that, why do I need to realize gains on my investments if I have the money to live the life exactly as I choose to live it? You see what I'm saying here? This is the, the mindset that people can't get into because they've never been there before and they don't understand how the wealthy think, right? The wealthy want to increase their assets because they already have their day-to-day -day living expenses covered 10 times over, 100 times over, right? They don't care about paying the bills. They don't care about you know how many times they want to go out to dinner or how many vacations they want to take. They don't look at their accounts. They, I mean, they do, but they don't care about how much the bills cost each month, right? All they're worried about is growing their net worth, you know, hoarding sealed product. They want to do that, you know, hoarding stocks, hoarding companies, you know, property, whatever it may be. And so they're not worried as much about how, how much the gains are, are mounting up to be. They just care about more. I want more. I want to acquire more. I want to set my kids up better, whatever it may be. Build my, build my empire more, right? Build my legacy more. And once you understand that, it'll help you realize how this sealed product will continue to rise again and again and again, no matter what all the talking heads out there think. And so, hope this video helped.
take one thing from this thing, this whole video thing today. Have a level head. Stay grounded. Stay down to earth. If you want to watch all the content and get involved in all the comment sections everywhere, have at it. Have a good time. It's comical. It'll make you laugh. But don't make any real decisions based on what people are saying. That's all I got. Be back here in a new one soon. I'm out.